Right guys, so we are back, our last event session, our last session before Britain's Strongest Man next Saturday, so it's going to be a big one for myself and Luke, isn't it? Yes sir. But we've got uh, a nice wee surprise guest too, he is the Mr Men's Physique, and he is, wait for this, wait for this, hey. Zach Ainsley. So it's going to be Men's Physique versus Strongman, so Zach's going to come and follow us in our uh, events today, you know, we've got dumbbell, yoke, stones, and some other wee things. We're going to throw in a few wee things for Zach as well. So, yeah, you're going to have some fun. Yeah, because I'm, I'm nervous, excited. <laughs> You'll be uh, fine. Don't, be know good. What, don't know what to uh, expect, to be honest. I mean, uh, some battered arms and some soreness, that's what it is. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Some, we're gonna, uh, some pain. Let's have some fun, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Yes. Let's do it. There we go. It's a glove. <laughs> <laughs> Over my hoodie, it's just, you know. Yeah. No problem, no problem at all. It's like one of those fingerless gloves, it's quite nice. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm a puppet. So the first event that we are doing today is a replica of what's going to be at Britain's Strongest Man. So it's the Circus Dumbbell Medley. So we've got an 80 kilo one, 100 kilo, um, we've got a loader ball, 65 kilo, that will put up to 90, and then 110 kilo roll gun as well. So Tom and I, this is something that we do for the last few weeks. We've done it, we haven't been showing it too much on social media, keeping it a secret, so hopefully this won't go wrong. Zach is going to come in, so as we said, uh, Zach's part of the men's physique. He's incredibly strong for his size as well, so um, he was in yesterday pressing, shoulder pressing 60 kilo dumbbells after a six, seven hour drive, so incredibly strong over a head. So it'll be interesting to see how you can get on. Yeah, so, well, like I said, everything I've ever done has been seated, you know, with strict movement. I've never had to balance and do one arm or anything, you know, so this is, a whole other ball game, you know. Plus, the sheer size of these things are like, they come up to my waist. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's going to throw me off a bit. And the handle's like a Coke can, you yeah. know, so, yeah. There's, there's a few things to think about, and the core stability as well. Um, from when I started doing Strongman, I was more bodybuilding, doing a lot of seated stuff, so my core just wasn't used to doing, yeah. like, that, like, barbell press, let alone one arm dumbbell press. It was just really kind of... And my, Shocked. my lower back is, without a doubt, the weakest part of my body, so oh, that's, uh, yeah. Get a bell on, you'll be fine. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Swing it up, yeah? Swing yeah. it up, yeah, get that okay. balance. Just don't rush it when you're up in the shoulder. Yeah? Yeah, that's it. Nice bit. Okay. Easy. Whew. That's pretty good. I'm done. I've got a pump from doing one warm up, I'm not. <laughs> Pressing, if the wrist kind of kinks down, uh, that's when it kind of so goes yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's okay. uh, we were wrist wraps and stuff. Once we kind of add a little bit more on to it, we'll do one, one more. Huh? I want to do one more just. Oh, <laughs> What made you decide to do this, Zach? Just the sheer admiration I have for these guys. I mean, uh, I always understood how strong the strongmen were. You know, when you watch Giants live on TV and the world's strongest man, it's so mind-blowing what they do. But it's not until you've actually trained yourself or seen it in person, then you realize how insane they are, you know? Uh, when I watched the Giants live at the Arnold's, uh, they were doing this with 110k dumbbells and 
I mean, like I, I was doing 60s yesterday and I, I feel like an absolute monster, so strong doing 60s. And then they're doing 110, you know what I'm thinking? Just my jaw was dropped the whole event. I couldn't, couldn't believe what I was seeing. So yeah, and um, I just had to come up and witness it firsthand, give it a go myself. Yeah. And yeah, I just want to show the general public how elite these guys are because it's above and beyond what they probably already think. It's, it's mind blowing, yeah, really, really mind blowing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> this is an awkward one. Again, you can see how how big a diameter it is compared to that first one yeah. we did. So the bigger diameter, it just throws the, the whole press off. Um, it's just again a lot of what we do is just technique yeah. and a little bit of strength as well. But um, but once you get that technique nailed. Everything just feels so, so much easier. So I'm hoping this will feel quite nice. <laughs> Mate, that is ridiculous. I mean, that's ridiculous, you know. He's, he's flinging that up like it's nothing. It's. No! <laughs> you, you think I'm going to be ripping that off? Ah, easy work. 45 kilos on this one now. Right? You're quite strict, you kind of had the legs the first time and like you say, the last one kind of just went away yeah, and you yeah, can feel yeah, it. Yeah, really felt it, yeah. And then that's what we were saying at the start, when you're pressing it away, uh, the strength goes. Uh, it you, yeah. <laughs> so it's, you can feel that, like, yeah, it's, it's, especially when you get, because that's still looking quite comfortable for you, I would say. Um, so we'll put on another, another 10, that'll be 55. Yeah, okay. And then we're only, we're only a little bit away from that then, it's fine. So Zach's now going up to attempt 55 kg. Let's go, men's physique, baby. Ah. Oh. Here, then just okay. Ah. lift I'm slowly feeling it more and more because it's just so new to me as well it's but you had a lot more power a lot more springs when you hit your legs yeah it went up which was good that's um and it's just again that wrist stability keeping that locked into your into your shoulder you almost when you're pressing it you cannot want it to be nice and tight to your head yeah, yeah. yeah. so we surprised what I've called flower ears sometimes because right. um, the dumbbell goes right into our head and when we're pressing it it's just just up and over here, but it's, it's that was good. How's your shoulder feeling? It's feeling better. Um, the more kind of blood I get into it, the better it feels. So 
Actually, it felt worse when I was warming up with the 35 kilo one, so I need to get a lot of blood into it before I actually go out, so um, come Britain's strongest man. Just need to make sure I do a lot of reps, a lot of kind of a lot of kind of exercises just to get the blood going, get the shoulders kind of pumped, and um, because it's feeling so much better now, so it's almost kind of it's still there. I can still feel it, but it's not as bad. So um, again, yeah, it's just a learning curve. So um, yeah, it should be fine. Be easy. Let's go. Up. Oh, that felt good. And the edge of the dumbbell was like here. And where it's with you guys, it's back and yeah. your elbows higher. So I'm gonna try and get this so up a bit more. Your wrist in the middle as well. Yeah. And your dumbbell, so it doesn't tilt by the force. Absolutely, man. Wrist in the middle, uh, elbow high, bang. Are you impressed, yeah? <laughs> I'm very, very impressed, bro. I couldn't even do that yeah, first time I've ever done it. Holy yeah, crap. Stuff. Holy bullock look at And uh, one more thing that's kind of nuts is Tom's a month older than me. I mean, <laughs> it's just insane. So we are now going to do the medley. So we've got the two, well, three rebel strength dumbbells and then the big roll gun at the end. Um, so it's 80, 90, 100, 110. Uh, the rebel ones are the ones that's critical because they're the, the, the ones that we'll be using in the competition. So it's a different size from the rogue ones. So um, yeah, so we'll just smash it out, see how it goes um, and do that for a couple of times. And then Zach's going to try the, the big boy, the big 65 kilo rebel one as well, so that'll be interesting. I think he's going to get it actually. I think it'd be he's... nice as well if I try one of the bigger ones, just to my shoulder though, Definitely. just because of the handles, just, <laughs> just to see yeah. how ridiculous, you know, that it's like this, you know, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, just to see if I can even get it past like my waist, yeah. it would be interesting, you know. It's, uh... Yeah, definitely worth a shot because it's again, it gives you a, another indication of what it is to do these type of events it's because um, a lot of the time when I guess people see us do it it's not like you said at the start you can't really put it into context exactly. so um, like people can press 70 80 kilo dumbbells for reps um, but this is such a completely alien movement um, compared to doing it in the seated position so yeah it'll be interesting I'm sure you'll be able to get the 80 kilo one up with confidence uh, maybe <laughs> Let's go, Luke. Yep. That's better than last week, holy crap. Yeah, so I felt 90% better than last week. 
everyone pressed, everyone felt good, so I'm so happy. Um, wanted to do the same as Luke and both completed it, so yeah, happy. Dumbbells were the worst pressing, but judging by that, it's getting better and better, so I'm so happy. So, yes, sir. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm going to go for the 65 just to see if it's even possible, but then uh, just for context, we're going to see if I can get the 80 up just to my shoulder. Obviously not press it, but just to see if I can get it to there. I mean, uh, when I do the 70s on uh, bench, I don't even get them out the rack. I have Kyle pass them to me, you know? So uh, getting an 80 to my shoulder is going to be uh, one hell of a challenge, man. It'd be cool to go and see what it looks like with a big 80k dumbbell there. You know, it's... <laughs> I'm 85 kilos, so no, it's, it's, a big dumbbell. it's basically my body weight, you know. Um, so it's half the size. With a, a, the size of a, a, a rain can yeah. as a handle, you know. So. It's a PB, that's a thing, it's like. Oh, man. Like rough, big that's... PB, big PB. You know, that 55 I was over the moon with. It's a big piece of it, uh, And you can do it with a backwards cap as well, which is. I can't do that. <laughs> Come on. Swing it up. Ah! Good pace. There we go. Come on, keep it tight. Nice and focused. Jesus. Keep one, three. Second time, it's a balance again. Yeah. I think just picking up and maybe just balance it would yeah. be good and then. That's right again. But yeah, you've. Mate, just having. So, look at the size of it, man. It's like. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. I mean, you're getting that up. But it's so deceiving because it, it looks a lot lighter than it is because it's yeah. hollow. You know? It's not filled in like normal dumbbells. You can see inside, so it's like, ah, oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> My God. But well, that must. Even you getting it up there the first time, yeah. that's good getting it. So you've got that confidence, you know you can get it up there. Okay, it feels heavy initially, but you know you can get up into your shoulder. And I think it's just that position. Uh -huh. It just obviously it keeps wanting to come round, yeah, doesn't exactly, it? Yeah, yeah. It's just because of the, the size of it. I'm left handed, right? Uh -huh. So in the middle, this in the middle, and this underneath, yeah. and then straight up. I think that's where, you know, I'm holding it for so long, I'm like shuffling my hand uh, in the middle. So make sure it's in the middle. Fuck it straight up and then. There you go. Come on. Much better. Come on in. Get that balance. Oh. 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 That's a, it's just a balance, isn't it? That's only. That's a big dumbbell. Oh, it's Jesus Christ. Brutal, it? Open my eyes a bit. <laughs> <It's> wow. uh... <laughs> Let's go. Thumb around that. Strong hand. Oh, yeah. 
How are you feeling so far? I don't know if I'm gonna do four more fucking times. Had a six hour drive, three hours sleep, ten eggs for breakfast. This is not, I'm not made for this. Whoa. I've been training them too, that's but the depressing thing. Unbelievable techers. <laughs> that's the depressing thing, I'm, I'm, I've been smashing them recently. Tom's just, just been walking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like, that's a. <laughs> So guys, dumbbell medley is finished. Great uh, first event for myself and Luke. Sack had some fun. So now we're at the warehouse. On to the next event. That's it. Doesn't work. Oh. Beep. He, he made it. He didn't even know he made it for us. But he made it just with an axe and a saw. Like no power tools. Just unbelievable. So he came all the way over from Ireland with it as a present for us, just, just because. So, uh, <laughs> like when we saw it, we were just, like it's got, like, Stoltman written yeah. on that. Okay. Uh, I just want to see if I can actually get it off the floor. If you can, try and hold it here. 200, it 200 kilos. Right. Mate, I can't even reach. It's good for you. It's good for you. I'm gonna, let me try it here <laughs> first. <laughs> it's just a bit wobbly on here. Yeah. He's good for a watch. See you there. Hey. I'm done. I'm done. My. I feel like my spine just got compressed. <laughs> right, guys. So that's the dumbbell press done. Big Zark attack, managed to get the 80 monster up on his shoulder, which I think was really impressive actually. I, I didn't think you were going to do it initially, but um, <laughs> I, I'm very impressed with that. That's, that's a massive dumbbell, so for you to get it up there is incredible. And pressing the 55 the way you did, I think it's, yeah, very impressive. So we've left the gym, we're now up at the, the warehouse. Thankfully there was no one working here today, which is nice. <laughs> so you're wanting to have a wee shot of the... Yeah, absolutely. The, the sandbag or the keg for height, so we're going to give that a wee go, then we're going to go on to the yoke, then loading, and then stones, and then that's it finished. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds easier than it's going to be, but yeah, sounds it good. Sounds, sounds good. What do you think? <laughs> so that will get two metres, three metres, four metres, five or six metres. Well, it's 16 like what you did. 16.5. <laughs> So Zach, Zach thought when we did the video that we said 16 metres. I, I misheard you, yeah, honestly. <laughs> I mean, if I could do 16 metres, geez, I'd be like, good. what happens? Be like a robot. <laughs> You'd be good at what you do. I'm right? sure, I'm going to send you the clip. Maybe we did, we might yeah, have I'm been. sure you said 16 metres. Must have been metres, a joke. Yeah, yeah, I think it, we did a prank. Probably did say We did 16. say something about the world record. Was like yeah, that's what it was. 16 metres. I went to him, I went, like, oh, no, they, yeah, these yeah. guys chucked at 16 metres. He goes, no, they didn't. <laughs> I mean, they said they did. Not a chance. <laughs> right, it's, it's six metres. So that's, that's two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. So that's just six We were stood in my gym at the time, and it's like a high roofed oh. warehouse. And we're just looking up at the ceiling, and I was like, Zach, that's over the roof. And a, a bit more. Oh, yeah. I was like, there's no chance. I got weak side, but, then good, but another not, 10 metres. <laughs> twice, almost three times the height is that. Easy. Let's just pick him in. Easy, money. Sandbag time now. You think you're that good, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go.
17 meters, baby. The other way, mate. Jesus. Whoa. It's a fireman as well. It's a fireman, it's stupid. It's fucking very quick. Yeah, that's it. I love you. Of 20 meters. <laughs> Come on, Simon. Let's go. 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 Jesus Christ. Two sets, 360, 20 meters for myself and Luke. Zach's gonna have a bash of the empty yoke and try and walk with it for 15 to 20 meters. So, you ready? I'm ready. If she's born ready. Oof, she's okay. born ready. Small steps, go. Three. So that's what we normally do, we would do one run just to get your, your kind of legs working, waking them up and then just build up. So that's 250 then 300, right. probably do 360 then after. Um, okay. so I, yeah. I, I'll, I'll give it a go. I think you'll be fine for that. Uh, it's, just, it's just here for me because uh, I mean, if you feel the, my, feel my spine, uh, it's, it's pointy. sticking out. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's like a, what's it, them dinosaurs? Oh, it is, it's uh, it yeah, yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Take it as far. Yeah, man. It's just, I've got the boniest spine ever, so there's no padding. Just pick it up and give it how it feels, see how it feels when you pick it up. Well, I'm, I'm saying pick it up. I'll just go with up. With Mike Ayers on as well. Right. Heavy. <laughs> Quarter of a ton. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, 250 was enough for me, you know, and uh, I still want to have her career after this, so I'm going to just <laughs> stop there. Um, but for the big boys, like Kyle and obviously Tom and Luke, uh, I'm just going to be a spectator from now on, and uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what Kyle can do as well. Uh, I reckon you can do 400, man. So, uh, only he, he has a, he doubts himself. So, uh, yeah, I think you can do it, man, for sure. This is going to be light for you. <laughs> so I said before I wasn't going to do it, but just, just to show you guys how strong he is. That. And then he passed off. And then he passed off. <laughs> <laughs> that was me giving it a hundred percent, you know. It's be a gym record, by the way. Ross, if you're watching, 350 kilo gym record. Come on, head in the game, head in the game. Focus. Here we go. Come on, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to watch him again. Come on, man. Come on, Kyle. Yes, come on. Come on. Walk it. Right guys, so yoke's done, now we're going to do loading, 100, 125 and kegs, so pretty implements today, no tyre, but tyre and anchor are easy enough to do, so these are the most important implements, the two sandbags and keg, so we're going to get these beasted, and then we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> And then maybe you can have a wee shot with a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how you get on. Um, okay. Honestly, do you think I'll be able to shift it? hundred, yeah. What? Do you yeah. think so? But a hundred, I think you'll be okay with a hundred. I'll, I'll give it a go, like, but... Once we'll, we'll talk you through the techniques. There's a couple of like, different bits to do. Right. Okay. Honestly, it's just, it's just phenomenal. So much respect. We're loading events, uh, Britain and stuff is about eight to ten meters. But if it's like usual, loading into a skip, you can save a meter or so by chucking it as well, and then quick turn. So yeah, I think if they do a skip, it might be just everything into a skip, which is much easier than just placing it down. And we're running about twelve. 12 to 15 meters here as well, so it's only three implements, but it's, it's uh, 
Jeez, we're covering more distance as well, but it's going to help our fitness. We always do it like this. We never do the whole loading event prior to um, to like the events that we've got. So these three are the hardest, and the distance is for as well. So it'll make us fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Put it up, you put it up on your foot like that, right. and then another bit up on your foot. So you've got a bit of um, grip, grip, and then keep your arms nice and straight. So these are just lifting hooks, right. lift it up, down on, onto your knees, right. and then you're just up. Easy as that, easy. Put it underneath it, here you go. Come on, you. Come on, you've got Come it. Come on. Ah! Come on. Come on. Get your hands a bit firm. Squeeze your. Squeeze your arms and hands. Good, mate. Nah, there's no way. Straight up, not onto your knees. Straight up first. There you, you go. Go no, sit down. Yes. Oh, I walk. Jesus! There's that. I can't do that. <laughs> it's not easy, especially that's heavier than than you are as well. So you put the things into perspective as well. So um, for us guys with more mass, you know, we should be picking that up because it's probably like half Tom's body weight, you know, the hundred kilos. So. Uh, <laughs> But it's still, he still broke the ground with it. It's still not like nothing, that's the thing. It's but yeah, I'm going to give the 100 a go. I've got no idea how it's going to go, but I'm just going to be careful for this tendon because it is starting to uh, play up a little bit. So, but yeah, besides that, what a day. What a day so far. Totally, uh, totally new experience. And uh, I've really enjoyed every minute of it. It's been, uh... yeah, it's been cool. Yeah. Now, having someone like yourself up, it's nice that you've got that respect as well. I think it's mutually you know, we have that yeah. respect for you, what you do, and, and vice versa. And I think sometimes that gets lost in a lot of things. Um, yeah. You know, we all do, like you do your chosen sport to the elite level, and so do we. So when you do that elite level stuff, those sacrifices we talked about when you were prepping for your comp, man, Jesus. Um, <laughs> It's not nice. No. You say you're cramping up when you're smiling, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is. <laughs> I remember I, uh, I laughed. I was. It was like a week before my last comp, and I was laughing at something, and my throat cramped up, oh, and I was really scared because it wasn't going away, and it felt almost like I was choking, even though I could still breathe fine. My actual like throat was cramping, you know, on both sides of my neck, and man, that, that was that was pretty scary. Um, but yeah, just. It's just the dehydration process and uh, you know being such a low body fat percentage and having quite literally drained your body of everything, everything you know it's that's that's the worst bit but everything else is uh, it, it's just it's just a different style of training isn't yeah. it? i mean uh, i never have three four five minute rest periods i never lift one rep maxes hardly yeah um you know it, everything especially leading up to a show is high rep ranges you know so uh, it's just totally total opposite to what we're doing. Um, I think it'll be class. We talked about coming down and do a wee session with you as well after our like, season's done yeah. and see, um, see how we and Big Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend said I was going to die yesterday. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I'm convinced I would kill you two in the, like a normal, yeah, a normal yeah, yeah. workout. Last event of the day, the Atlas Stones. Um, I think I'm working up to 180 for five, so see ya, how uh, how the stones go in this last event, but yeah, overall I feel good, healthy, mentally good, so yeah, let's just get past this event, let's see what, how Zach and Kyle get on as well, have some fun with them and see what happens, so 
Let's do this. Again, same same technique as a sandbag. Yeah. Your arms are staying quite straight. You almost you, you have to like pick it up with a bent back, right? Yeah, it's not. It's just like everything against. It's against everything you toss. Keep your back straight. It's, and this is like bend it. You have yeah, to. Yeah, you have to kind of. Yeah. Like straight back. You're not able to get down yeah, exactly. properly, so you kind of hunched over a little bit, uh -huh. and you're just up down, and then when you you got it on your knees, you squeeze it in. Right. right into your, your kind of belly and chest. Yeah. I'm, I'm really. There you go. Squeeze it in. Too far away, aren't it? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Come on, mate. Squeeze it in. Stuck my pants. Come on, hell, man. First time. And then he ripped my pants off. <laughs> I, was all, I was a lot worried there, mate. <laughs> uh oh. That was bargaining, mate. Fucking hell. Oh. Good job, man. Thanks, brother. I can say I've done eight Atlas done. Might not be the biggest in the world, but I've done it. <laughs> the 120. Squeeze it out nice and tight. Nice one. <laughs> I'm really happy with that, man. It's a great 100 kilogram first yeah. time doing apple stones. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> My first time I couldn't even do a 30k. I couldn't even pick up a pebble outside, man. It's so much bigger. Nah, nah. I'll do the, I'll do the 100 again. That's not happening. Nah. Oh, Final event stay is done. Special thank you to you, Zach, for coming up. Um, it's just nice having someone else come up, and I think it, it really made us have a good session today. I think, Tom, it was it was nice. It was, it was good, yeah. very good, really Great nice. Well. I mean, having me. Oh, mate, it's a really? pleasure. We just we really appreciate when when people come up because we know how far the drive is, and it's, <laughs> yeah. we love in like the arse end of nowhere up here. So, mm -hmm. uh, for someone like yourself, it's amazing to come up and kind of join our world for the day a yeah. strong van and um i mean i'm excited to do the the men's physique workout oh yeah, next. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> for sure oh jeez i don't know if i'm ready maybe tom get, could get britain's out the way first <laughs> win that and then uh, we'll talk about it yeah well that'll yeah, be yeah. class no, it's, uh, well maybe on the way back up because you have to pass newcastle from uh, sheffield all right so we'll, we'll compete with one of the heaviest competitions that we've done and then come and do a refit. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. But that's like me Sounds doing good. a six hour drive and then doing this. Oh, right? I uh, suppose. Three okay. hours sleep, so. Well, we'll think about it. What do you think, Tom? Better things to do. Ah. <laughs> oh, right, I was going to tell him to subscribe, but okay. <laughs> I'm going home. I've got donuts to eat that. I've got donuts home. to eat on the way home. I'm joking. I'll be there 100%. Class. You tell me the address, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not scared of nothing. Now. But no, it was so nice you used to come up. Honestly, it's so good. Um, and you're coming to Britain's Strongest Man as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. It is our last. Um, work out our last event session before Britain. Thank you for all the messages, all the kind words that you guys are giving us. Super excited. We'll see you in Sheffield. Um, it's going to be awesome. Big Tommy. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Oh, please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.